And how do you use cloud info when you're high enough to pick the best flight path with regards to cloud shapes? What you're looking with cloud shapes is you're trying to avoid big areas of matured cloud because that can quite easily switch off and leave you in a big shaded area. So there's a danger going under a big area of cloud because you lose visibility of the developing cloud above. And being sucked up into cloud base is, it's pretty scary for anybody. The little ones, you're wanting to look for something that's developing. If you can see the wisp just forming, like it's just starting and it's just growing, go for it. So you're trying to look ahead and you've usually got options of three clouds. 